Welcome, brothers and sisters, to another segment of Moments with the Master. My name is Brother Renthian Pickney, and I'm one of the deacons and ministers here at the Trinity Gardens Church of Christ. Today, I want to talk to you why we as Christians should physically and spiritually keep our focus on Jesus. Now, the name Jesus comes from the Hebrew word for Joshua, which means God saves. So with this should help us as Christians realize that if we keep our focus on Jesus, especially during times of difficulty, that uh, it will keep us from being filled with bad thoughts, with feelings of depression or uh, negative feelings because of all the desolation and chaos we may see going on around us. Now, one of the best examples of why we should keep our focus on Jesus can be found in Matthew chapter 14, verses 22 through 31. In that, in, the, in that chapter, in those verses, Jesus walks on water to the boat where his disciples are. Uh, while he is walking on water, his disciples see him. And they're afraid and they think that he is a ghost. But finally, Simon Peter calls out to him and says that, Master, if it's you, tell me to come to you. Peter starts to come to Jesus. And in doing so, because he has his focus on Jesus, he starts to walk on water. Now, once Peter takes his focus off of Jesus and starts to focus on the, the wind around him, he starts to sink. Now, there's a few things we can learn from that story. Number one is that, there are benefits for keeping our focus on Jesus. And one of the benefits is that when you focus on Jesus, you can do some amazing things. Jesus, Peter was able to walk on water simply because he was focusing on Jesus. And the reason why Peter was able to do that, because at that time he was walking by faith and not by sight. When we as Christians walk by faith and not by sight, we are able to overlook all the different things or bad things that are going on around us. We're able to overlook uh, what may be going on in the media, things like uh, such as mass shootings or uh, the pandemic or uh, rumors of wars or wars. Uh, we are able to overcome those uh, negative thoughts or those images because now we are focusing on Jesus. Uh, and also at that time, because we are walking by faith and not by sight, we allow Jesus to guide us and not our eyes. Uh, now, there is a downside, of course, to not focusing on Jesus during times of difficulty. One of the downsides of it is that you allow the world to fool you into thinking your situation is worse than what it really is. When you don't focus on the Lord and you focus on what's going on around you, sometimes you may feel like your situation is desolate, that it uh, is hopeless that there's no solution for what's going on, uh, for, for what you are dealing with, and that nobody understands what you are going through. If you look at Peter, Peter, when once he took his eyes off of Jesus, he started to feel like his situation was worse than what, he, what it really was. He started to feel like he was in danger when he really wasn't, because the whole time Jesus was there. So right now, I just want to encourage you, anyone who's out there, who's going through a difficult time in their life, to keep your focus on Jesus, because by doing so, you can make it through anything you're going through and God can help you to achieve amazing things as well. Again, thank you for joining us for another segment of Moments with the Master. Until next time, take care and may God keep you and bless you.